We are back, boys, with a brand new episode of Forza Motorsport 6. This is our current car, our Lotus. We gotta stick with it. Luckily, we're not doing a rain track this time, though. We're at Long Beach, which is pretty awesome. Um, and we're just doing another part of the career. Last episode, though, was absolutely crazy. Definitely go check out last episode. As the entire layout is bordered by temporary concrete barriers. Like, last race though, we went from like 24th, I don't know if it was, it was like close 24th, it was like 20th, 24th around there, to first. I kid you not, on a 7 lap race um, with an Indy car. So definitely go check that out, it was absolutely epic. I was so excited, man. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to be like continuing those challenges, because I guess you can do those... Um, just all throughout your career and I don't know if they like I said I don't think you need to do them in order to advance in the career But you do you can do them for just extra credits like that one thing we got 18,000 credits for um, Which is like a really good amount to be honest just especially from a race usually these races we only get about 6,000 to 10,000 credits So it's like not much but 18,000 was a decent amount All right, uh drive guitar ability. We're putting it back to average 10% We want to change it. We always can <coughs> Pardon me, and let's go. The Lotus. The crazy tricked out Lotus, man. Not a fa fan favorite of it, not gonna lie. Let's see what mods we can put on. Boost single use grid position. Plus 10% credits. Can you buy more? Oh, it costs credits to buy them. Okay. I don't think you can actually, like, buy credits, like, with real money. Um... Like microtransactions that way, but maybe they'll add that in the future. I don't know. You no, know, like with advanced warfare, you can do like you can buy supply drops and stuff. I don't think they'll they don't do that on here. But I don't know. Maybe they'll eventually do that. Maybe they'll just never do that. I have no idea. Feels so good to be off that rain map though. It feels so freaking good, boys. Not gonna be slipping around as much. Probably still a little bit, but not as much. So that's good. I'll take it. Oh, right, we got a little bit of a sharp turn up here. Oh wow. I used those guys to my advantage there. I did not think the turn was that sharp. Holy cow. Whew. Alright, so I'm going to try to follow the arrows the best I can. That's really what you're supposed to do, I feel like. Another little strat to use, which if you're not playing on like their super realistic difficulty where your car can actually take damage, is to hit into the other cars and use them as a little bit of a shield in order for your car to not spin out. So, I mean, it's pretty useful, really. This car has so many tight turns. Or, this track has so many tight turns. I don't know why. Sorry, dude. I kind of cut him off, but it worked out. There's so many awesome uh, racing games, though, like this year, in my opinion. So, we have this game, obviously, that's uh, been out, what, since, since September now. We have, uh, we are having Need for Speed. Um, kind of the reboot of that series come out November, early in November, and then that's the turn I always think is is uh, not as sharp, but it is super sharp. Then we have this other game, which I think actually got delayed, but it looks really cool, um, and it was called Track Mania, I think Track Mania Turbo or something like that. It looks really good though. Um, it's like a single player or co-op game where you have like two people in the car, so one person I think is in. Uh, doing the gas, one person's turning or something like that, and um, and you can either do that or just do it solo. But that looked really cool. I've never seen a really a racing game do that before. But the tracks looked really fun on that. It reminded me a little bit of I don't know. I don't really know to be honest. Like Need for Speed with the whole drifts and stuff, but that turn is insane, man. But Mario Kart almost as well. I don't know. It's a very weird combination of games, and that sort of reminded me of. So that game is, that's another racing game coming out. And then another one, which is crazy, this, this other one I've never really heard of, but it looks pretty good, I watched the trailer for it, is uh, Skylanders Superchargers. And the game's honestly kind of like a, I don't know, I really the best, best way to say it. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a Mario Kart, so a cartoonish um, racer. And I'm not saying like that negatively, negatively, but um, I'm just saying it's not like a real racing game like this. In that game, you get 
Oh, is he gonna drag me? Okay, thanks, buddy. But in that game, you get like power ups, boosts, and this obviously these games you don't. These are like real racing games. So, I mean, it's like cartoonish, but I love those games. Like I love Mario Kart, and it really reminded me of like that. And we're not gonna get probably a another Mario Kart or any other maps for a long time till the next either next Wii console comes out, or if they even released Mario Kart 9 on uh. On the Wii U, they released it on there. It had two Mario Kart games on the same console, but I doubt they'd ever do that. But yeah, the racing games this year, they're like outstanding, I, I think, so far. Can't wait for Need for Speed. Hopefully we'll get that. Um, it sounds really, I mean, it looks really good. We haven't seen much of the gameplay yet, but the trailers just like sparked my interest in that, that reboot of that game. Probably my all-time favorite racer when I was a kid, like really young. That got me into racing games was Need for Speed Most Wanted. If you guys have ever heard of that game? Um, I might like get that game because I don't have it anymore. I had it for PlayStation 2 or something, but I don't have my PlayStation 2 anymore. And um, played that game so much. I loved it. But it was not like a real racing game like this. I mean, it's real racing, but it's not like a one where you have to actually watch about the, worry about the conditions, how fast you're going. Because you can drift around corners so much in that other game. Um, but it was fun. Need for Speed Most Wanted was really fun. So maybe I can, if I can get my hands on that. I can play that for you guys on the 360 um, or whatever. Ooh, a perfect turn. Shit. It's really not too bad since we had so much of a so much of a um, lead on the competition there. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see a, series, see a series on that in the future, let me know. But it probably wouldn't be for a while. Wow, that was a fourth lap right there. All right, got second. I'll take it. I mean, it was okay. It was decent. Got 7,420 credits. Good stuff. Um, our level is probably won't go up. Nah. All right. Let's see if this goes up at all. Nope. Okay. Cool. It's all good. All right. Challenge series. One race remaining. Let's do the other race on this episode, guys. So we're going to have to restart that one at all. City of Prague. Its cobblestone streets and famous tramways will give your car suspension and tires a serious workout. Wow. All right, that looks really cool. This map looks really, really cool, man. All right, let's go. Excited. Excited to explore all these new tracks. I don't know how many tracks are actually in the game. Um, probably, you'd, I'd, I'd assume you definitely replay them like, later on in the career. Maybe, like, since you played like this, playing this, for example, this map, or this track, I should say, like, a... Uh, sunny conditions maybe the later on in the career will play this one like raining when it's raining outside and there's like puddles everywhere so i don't know if they do that or there's maybe just new there's like 20 new tracks 20 different tracks and you just get play one different ones every time i have no idea all right i'm gonna keep the you know what let's add a mod here because why not plus 10 percent credits mod slot let's go um is that a permanent mod the blue one there? Sorry, I'm like looking down. It's because my microphone's kind of covering that. Grip specialist, uncommon. Grip an extra six percent, extra six percent on Yas Marina. I guess that's like a. I don't know if that's a. How do you use those though? I have no idea. I felt I thought they just automatically get used up. Is there any? Is, do you have to like click a button to use them? Let me know in the comments down below because I'm really not too sure. Um. Here we go though. All right. Like I don't think I can click anything to use the mods. I don't know. Do I have to hit anything? Nope. Okay. All right. Oh man, it's a tight, tight squeeze in there. See what I mean? I kind of just used him to defend myself so I wouldn't spin out. Wow, this track though. It's got a lot of these little like. Oh, don't hit me, dude. A lot of these little winding curves. We're playing, we're driving through the streets here, so that's, I guess, what you would expect. Going across the bridge. Oh, look at those statues, man. This looks awesome. This looks epic. Go, there's like a big church up there. Oh, we got a hard turn here. They make you look at the scenery so you forget to, like, actually turn in the right way. All right, we're not being able to pass these guys at all. Get off me, dude. 
Jeez, we, we like messed that one dude up, but then another guy just passed us, so it didn't really matter. We need to try the best we can to pass these, these clowns. All right, come on, boys, come on. All right, we're in third. There's only two laps on this race. Go, go, go. All right, which way we go? We're gonna go, okay, we don't really need to slow down much there, I don't think. No, not at all. Okay, that's the way, that's where we'll gain our speed, like we'll gain our positions right on that turn. Because they looked like they were slowing down way more than necessary. Even that one, I don't think it's super necessary to slow down much. Alright, good stuff. We're back in first. Or maybe just starting to be in first. That was like maybe our first time on this race we got in first. See, why did he get red there? Because that wasn't really a sharp turn. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it messes you. That's a sharp turn, though. That is a sharp turn. They're pretty close to us. We need to be careful. Alright, here we go. This is big time. Big time stuff. Let's go. Alright, so we're doing solid, man. Like, I might even be able to up to difficulty one more notch. Based off, like, how well we're doing against these guys. Maybe it's just because this map's not terribly difficult. Compared to some of the other maps, but I don't know. I feel like we're playing really well. Especially coming off of that, uh, that one rain map. Alright, go. Alright, let's go, boys. Can't even see the guys there. We can still see them on our mini-map, but just not on our screen, our vision. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Alright, go to the tunnel, the mini-tunnel here. Go, go, go. There we probably could have braked a little bit better. Okay, doing well. Doing well, doing well. Hopefully that mod gets activated. I want a 10% boost in credits, man. Especially if we get first on here. Like, that'd be helpful. So I don't think you need to brake there, really. You just need to slow down. So you just need to take your uh, hand, foot off the gas there. There we kind of messed up. We were going a little bit too fast. But the other one, you can easily just ride the brake and you'll be fine. All right, we're coming back to the final stretch here. And then we'll probably be good to go. So yeah, this track, not terribly difficult. There's a few turns that are... Oh, shoot, boys. Right as I speak. Right as I speak. Why would I say anything at all? Whew. We're lucky we had that leak. because that could have been bad. <laughs> right when I speak, I was just saying, there's not too many hard turns there. That was our only bad spin-out, though, on that, all, that whole track, so I'm not going to complain. New badge unlocked, experienced driver, bronze... I think those are just like to show off to other people. All right, so there. It gave us our extra credit bonus, finally. 5,800, 5, I'll take it. You want to spin? Um, I don't know how many driver levels there are in the game. Probably a lot. All right. Oh, 1.5 million. R18 e-tron. All right, let's go. 20 MRZ. It's okay. Like, I almost... Almost would get high, I'd rather have more credits in our pocket than just get a different car that's not very good. Um, our Finny level went up for that, that's good. So, I don't know. Alright, series complete? What does that mean? You have completed the Super Street Challenger series. Okay. Cool. Now we're going to our next series. 
I don't think we'll do a race in it today, but we'll at least maybe learn about what it is. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Let's go, Forza. Forza, Forza, Forza. Forza Motorsport. Next, take on club level circuits. Perfect for amateur drivers to learn the ropes of efficient car control. Okay. Okay, so we get to pick our new car. I think we're not going to do that now. We're going to save that for next time. Next stop, Hockenberg. Do we have to pick it now? Oh, but yeah, we'll, we'll save for next time. All right, and we are going to open up a, another car. Um, all right, so we have the Audi RS7. What did we do last time? The Audi R8, I think. BMW looks nice. The Nissan Fair Lady Z. The Viper. For some reason, I thought we already had that, but I guess not. Let's go with the Viper, guys. I'm feeling it today. Alrighty. So we are going to choose our color for this. Um, Alright, so let's go to colors. Uh, What should we do? What should we do? We don't have any white cars, I don't think. Ooh, the orange. Actually, the yellow looks pretty good. I like that. Ooh, I like that, though. Really like that. Should we go for it? It kind of reminds me of the Lotus, but it's like a little bit different. I don't know. Like, I'm a big fan of bright colors. And I've said this before many times now. Let's go with that one. Let's try it out. Alright, we'll give it a free look. Whew, look at that. Jeez, man. Looks so nice. Alright, buy that for free. Definitely pick up those free cars, though, if you guys did purchase the game. Because it's since their 10th anniversary, they just handed out free cars. The only bad part is I don't think you get to really use them in that career. Team Forza Viper GTS. Cool. Like, I don't know if you do or not. Or don't. I don't know. Um, is there anywhere to check? Stories of Motorsport. What's this all about? That's Okay, so we're in Super Street Volume 1. Series 1 of 15. So, is it 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? Is that how it works? I don't know. No, because each one has a different number of races. But there's... Not only that many series, I guess. So, like, this one has five races. This one has six races. So, I guess that's just a little bit of a rundown of how that looks. I just want to see if there's a way to, like, sell our cars or tune. I don't know if you can sell your cars or not. Um, select. Get in car, move car, view car. What do you do if you get in car? Is that like a test drive thing? I don't know. Just kind of playing around at this point. No, it's not. Okay, so. Hmm. What do you do if you find a car? Ooh, a DLC. Aston Martin V12 Zag Zagato. See, it says DLC there. Uh, it's 530,000 credits, so that's ridiculous. So I guess you can just go through here, and it'll tell you how many credits you can. It, it costs. Wow, th those are expensive, man. Where's Lambo? Wow. Holy cow. Okay, that I thought. We, I think we already have that, actually, don't we? I thought we already had that. Wow. The Aventador, man. That's what I want. I really want an Aventador. Or a Gallardo. Is that how you say Gallardo? I don't. I think it's Gallardo. I don't know. Some of these I've never even heard of before. Alright, cool. That's just a little bit of a look through. Um, on just more of the, like, the settings and stuff you can do in the game. But there we go. Completed our first uh, series today. Um, and then we'll have 15 more races in this next series. However many races in the next series. Then we'll move on to like the next chapter of the career. So that's kind of how the game uh, progresses. And uh, it's pretty awesome. So hope you guys have enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It helps out a ton. Also, follow me on Twitter, 
to be the first to know when I release a new video. And if you guys missed any episode in the past of this series, everything will be linked down below. So definitely go check those out. But until next time, guys, have a great day. I'll catch you on my next episode.